It's new bike day, and I live in one of the best areas of the Midwest to ride a bike like my brand new Harley Lowrider S. I'm gonna rip so hard on this bike. Ah, sh break in. A new bike is wonderful, but there is a great responsibility with new bike ownership that not only affects you, but also every owner of this bike after you. Yep, the dreaded break-in. Some riders painstakingly follow the manufacturer's guidelines, while others say it's BS and just let it rip on the first twist of the throttle. We'll get into that controversy a little bit later in this video, but first, let's talk about what break-in is and why it's necessary. If you're new here, my name is Joe. I love motorcycles and adventures on them. My goal is to encourage others to seek adventure and to live their lives to the fullest. If you're interested in any of that, hit subscribe. And hey, likes are absolutely free, so hit the like button if you found this video informative or entertaining by the end of the video. What is engine break-in? If you were to open up your shiny new engine, the parts would look smooth but in reality, they have microscopically rough surfaces. These surfaces have significantly more friction than a motorcycle that's been ridden for a while. During this period of high friction, engine components need time to bed in. Typically, that's 500 to 1,000 miles. Manufacturers state that a properly broken in engine will have better performance, longevity, and fuel economy. What's key here, and the source of the controversy over how to break in your new engine, is the seal between the piston rings and the cylinder walls. Proper ring seal is a big part of performance and longevity. Here's my motorcycle piston. It separates the crankcase with oil in it from the combustion chamber that has an air-fuel mixture. The piston ring then prevents oil from getting into the combustion chamber and combustion gas from getting into the crankcase. But if the piston ring doesn't seat properly, the result might be oil in the combustion chamber and combustion gas into the crankcase. That result would be less compression and lower horsepower. So how do you properly break in a new engine? This is where that controversy begins. Some say you should ride a new bike like you stole it. Some say you should baby it by keeping it low in the rev range, don't go over a red line, and never lug the engine. Which one is true? I'm gonna say neither. I'm gonna explain more in a bit, but for you Harley Softail owners, let's take a look at what the owner's manual says. One, during the first 50 miles of riding, keep the engine speed below 3000 RPMs in any gear. Do not lug the engine by running or accelerating at a very low RPM, or by running a high RPM longer than needed for shifting or passing. Check. Up to 500 miles, vary the engine speed and avoid operating at any steady engine speed for long periods. Engine speed up to 3,500 RPMs in any gear is permissible. Okay, seems like a boring way to ride a bike. I can't wait till this is done. Drive slowly and avoid fast starts at wide open throttle until the engine has warmed up. You got it. Avoid lugging the engine by not running the engine at very low speeds and higher gears. Well, that makes sense in break-in or any other time riding the motorcycle. So what does this all mean? Some, like never lugging the engine, are straightforward. But who would ever intentionally lug an engine? Others, like varying the engine speed, are pretty vague. And even others, like keeping the engine below 3,000 RPMs during the first 50 miles, just seems like Harley saying, don't ride a new bike crazy because it might mean litigation for us. Let's simplify all this in one sentence. During the first 1,000 miles, ride as much as possible along a twisty road and stop occasionally for about 10 minutes to let the engine cool. Now let's expand upon this a bit. The twisty road allows you to vary the rev range from the sweet spot for the gear that you're in to the red line. For my 2021 Softail Lowrider S, that's at 5,500 RPMs. After a quick twisty ride, find a place to let the engine cool down. This cool down allows oil levels to stay cooler, thus allowing engine components to bed together slowly. Like tasty short ribs, this process is best done slow cooked. After cooling, get back on the road for another quick twisty ride. With this process, you can have a 30 year break in mileage done in an afternoon. After three rides, boom, your engine is broken in and you can ride with the abandonment you intended when you first bought the bike. 